Hello class and welcome. In this video I'm going to be talking about Virginia's geographic location as well as some vocabulary we use when describing locations to others. Feel free to pause or rewind at any time if you miss something and need to go back. Let's get started. The learning target for this video is to be able to locate Virginia and its bordering states on various maps. You should be able to look at any map, whether it is a world map or a map of North America or a map of the United States, and find Virginia and its bordering states. So where exactly are we? The easy answer might be Virginia Beach or school or home, but let's take a moment to think about it. We're on Earth. We could get more specific and say the continent in North America or the United States, or even the East Coast of the United States, Virginia, or most specifically, Virginia Beach. So how specific do we need to be? You could use a GPS to find your exact location in coordinates, latitude and longitude, if you needed to. But most of the time, we use what's called relative location. So we describe our location or a specific place in relation to where other more recognizable things are. So for example, I might want to tell somebody where Shake Shack is. So I would say Shake Shack is across from Princess Anne High School and in the same shopping center as Barnes and Noble, Ulta, and the Regal Columbus Movie Theater. Words and phrases like next to, near, in front of, behind, to the right of, help us describe relative location. With that in mind, how would you describe Virginia's location to someone from, let's say, California on the West Coast? Or Canada? All right, let's break it down. Virginia is on the East Coast by the Atlantic Ocean. Most people when thinking about a world map, would be able to place the Pacific Ocean on the West Coast and the Atlantic on the East, East Coast. It is about halfway down the U.S. coast and is bordered by Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Now, this is something that you have to know. So one way I like to remember the bordering states is by saying mustard with ketchup tastes nasty or mustard with ketchup tastes nice, depending on how you feel about that flavor combo. Um, but it does put them in order moving from the north all the way around in a C shape until you get to North Carolina, which is south of us. But when talking about relative location, it is important to give familiar location markers. So things like the East Coast, our bordering states, that will help to let somebody know where Virginia is located. You can also, when looking at a map, think about where Florida is located. So Florida is pretty recognizable on a map and we just want to move up a little ways from it. So now that we've talked about the more familiar relative location, let's talk about some more precise directions because sometimes it's simply necessary to give very direct directions, okay? So we have two different types, cardinal directions and ordinal directions. Maybe you've heard of them. So cardinal directions are our most basic precise directions. They are north, south, east, and west, what you will find on any compass. But, as we know, we're not always heading directly north or due south or directly in a single direction. Oftentimes, we're somewhere in between, and that's where our ordinal directions will come in. So, you might be heading somewhere between north and east, and that would be northeast, or northwest, southeast, or southwest. All eight of these are precise directions. So Maryland, traveling from Virginia Beach, which is in the bottom right corner of Virginia, to get to Maryland, you are heading pretty due north. Depending on where in Maryland, it might be a little bit northwest, okay? But mostly Maryland is north. West Virginia, however, is northwest. It's right there between north and west on the compass. 
Kentucky is pretty directly west as well as Tennessee. Although if you are going into a part of Tennessee that's closer to North Carolina, it might be a little bit southwest. And then North Carolina is directly south of Virginia. All right, it's time to stop and take a moment to reflect on what you've learned in this video. So we've got the same target we had at the beginning, but I've rephrased it as a question. Can you describe Virginia's location and its bordering states on various maps? So that means you should be able to look at a world map and find Virginia or a map of North America or a map of the United States, a map with border lines, a map without border lines. You should be able to find roughly where Virginia is regardless. So having watched this video, do you think you can do that? Do you think you can describe its location to somebody else who may not know where Virginia is on a map? If you can answer yes to these questions, you are ready to go with this objective. 